Hello friends this is one more video tutorial on Morris Chart Library by Webb's Lesson. In our one of the previous tutorial on Morris Chart Library we have make simple area bar chart by using PHP with MySQL. But in this video tutorial we will make simple live donuts chart by using Morris Chart Library with Ajax with PHP script. Here we'll display chart on live data that means when we have entered data then automatically chart has been updated without refresh of web page. For this we will make simple framework like form when we have like any one framework then non chart that data will be effect that means it will also update chart data by one like without refresh of web page because we will use Ajax with Morris chart library. Now start learn this topic, this is our testing database and in this we have one like table with two column like hidden framework game, in this table we have already inserted some framework like data, so we will make donuts chart by using this data. This is our index page we have include following CDN links for Morris chart, first link is for Morris chart CSS formatting. Second link is simple JavaScript library query link. Third is Raphael JavaScript which are required to implement Morris chart on the page and last link is a JavaScript library link of Morris chart. So this all files links are required to implement Morris graph on web page. If you have miss any of the link your chart will not display on web page. First we want to make simple donuts chart by using Morris chart library. So first we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to chart. We will display donuts chart under this tag. After this we want to fetch data from like table. So for this we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connect function with for argument like host name set to locale lost. Username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. Now we have write dollar subquery variable is equal to select framework table column with count star function as no of like from like table group by framework table column and order by id in ascending order. This query will return unique framework name with no of like data. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar sub query variable. This function will execute query and store result under dollar result variable. Now we define one dollar data variable is equal to array data type. Under this variable we will store like table data. After this we want to fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have write while loop and under this we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result as argument. This function will convert query result to array and store into dollar row variable. Under this while loop we have write dollar data is equal to array and under this in first key we have like label with value dollar row framework variable and in second key we have write value with key value dollar row no of like variable. This we have store table data in dollar data array. Now we want to convert it into JSON format. So we have write dollar data variable is equal to JSON encode function with dollar data argument. This function will convert into JSON string and store into dollar data variable. Now we have moved to initialize Morris chart library. So we have go to query code part and here we have write variable donuts chart is equal to Morris dot donuts method. This method will initialize Morris donuts chart. Under this method we have first write first option element and under this we have write division tag id chart. It is an id of the element in which to draw the chart. 
After this we have write second option data and in this option we have write echo statement with dollar data variable in which we have stored table data in JSON format. Under this option we can define chart data records and each entry in this array corresponds to point on the chart. In dollar data variable we have already stored label and value data in JSON string format. So now we have check output in browser. Friends you can see that when page has been loaded then we can see framework like data under donuts chart on web page. But we want to make live chart that means when someone like any framework, then we want to increase no of like on donuts chart also without refresh of web page. So we have go to index page and here we have write HTML form with attribute method is equal to poster and it is equal to like form. We will use this as selector in jQuery code. Under this form we have defined 5 input type is equal radio button with attribute name is equal to framework and different value like code igniter, Laravel, Symfony, and KPHP. So user can select one framework from this list. Below this we want to define submit button, so we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to like and value is equal to like. When we have click on this button then form data has been submitted to server. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar with form mid like form as selector with on method and under this method we have write submit with function with event argument. So when form has been submitted then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stop to submit form data to server. After this we want to get the value of radio button. So we have defined variable check is equal to dollar with input name is equal to framework double color checked with form mid like form with value method. This code will get the method of framework radio button and store into this checked variable. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write checked is equal undefined. Here it will check if user has not select any framework and directly click on submit button then this condition will true and it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose user not select any framework then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write alert pop with message like please like any one framework and return false statement. This code will stop to submit form to server. But suppose user has select one of the framework then it will execute else block of code and under this first we have defined form data variable is equal to dollar this with serialize method. This method creates a URL encoded text string by serializing form values. After this we have start define Ajax request and under this first we have write URL option set to action.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option set to post method. We have used post method for send form data to server. In third option which data we want send to server we can define under this data option and here we have write form data variable in which we have store form serializing value. And in last option we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request successfully completed and it will receive data from server which is store under this function data argument. Under this function first we want to clear form field like radio button, so we have write dollar with form mid like form with zero index with reset method. This method will clear form field. Then after we want to refresh donuts chart data, so here we have write donuts chart variable which we have already defined at the time of creation of donuts chart with set data method with data argument. 
This method will refresh chart data by this data argument and display latest data which we have defined on our data argument will display on Donuts chart without refresh of web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on action.php page and on this page first we have make database connection. After making database connection we have write if statement and under condition we have writes if function with dollar post framework argument. This condition will check if value of this variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into light table with framework column with values dollar post framework variable. This is our insert query which will insert framework like data under light table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string like dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and insert data into like table. After inserting data into table now we want to fetch data from table send to Ajax request and this code we have already write on index page so we have go index page and copy this code and paste on our action.php page. This code has been fetched data from like table and converted into guys and string format. So now want to send this data to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with dollar data variable, this will send data to Ajax request. So our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that when page has been loaded then framework like table data has been display under donuts chart format and here you can see that code igniter framework has 11 like and laravel has 8 like. Now suppose we are user and we have select code igniter framework and click on like button. Then on donuts chart you can see that code igniter framework like has been increased to 12 without refresh of web page. Same way here we can see Laravel has 8 likes so we have again select Laravel and click on like button. So now Laravel likes has been increased to 9. Here donuts chart data has been updated and display updated data on web page without refresh of web page. So this way we can make dynamic live data donuts chart by using Morris chart library with Ajax and PHP script. Suppose you have developed and web project and you have to display live data in chart format then you can use this Morris chart library and same way you can also use other chart like area chart, line chart, bar chart and make live chart like this. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial please comment your query under comment box. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for getting future update. Thank you for watching this video, we will meet on next video.